Hello friends in anatomy and physiology class. This is Hassan Lafid, your anatomy and physiology instructor at Madison College in Wisconsin. Welcome back to the class. This time we're going to talk about the stomach. The stomach is one of the organs of the digestive system. The stomach is a muscular organ. It's a J shape. It is located in the upper abdomen a little bit to the left. The stomach helps to mix the food, break down the food, and it also secretes hydrochloric acid, which helps in the further digestion of food items. Let's take a look at the model here and find the location of the stomach. As we mentioned, the stomach is a J-shaped organ. I'm gonna rotate it, if you'll take a look at it, it does have a J-shaped organ, or j shape. It's a muscular organ. It does have three layers. It does have a longitudinal layer, it does have a circular layer and it does have an oblique layer. So, oblique, circular, and longitudinal layer. It is equipped with these three layers because it's a heavy duty organs that needs to work real well to digest the food items. If I take a look at this human model here, the stomach is located beneath or underneath the diaphragm, has a close relationship with the liver, the transverse column, and if we turn to the side, the fundus of the stomach have a close relationship to the spleen here. The stomach is connected with the esophagus. If I take this part of the lung, the stomach connects with the esophagus and this side. So it does have two ends. It does have an esophageal part, which we call the gastroesophageal. It's sphincter. If I showed you this model of the um, stomach, let's take a look at it. As you see, this is the part of the stomach that is connected with the esophagus, and we call it the gastroesophageal junction. So, in this model here, this is the left side of the body, and this is the beginning of the stomach. This is the end of it here, and this is the right side of the body. Taking a look at this model, this is known as the cardia, this part where the esophagus ends and the stomach start is known as the cardia. There is a sphincter here, we call it the gastroesophageal sphincter. When we open the stomach, we're gonna see this sphincter from inside. This is known as the fundus. It does look, has a fundal shape. It's a dome shape, as you can see. And this is the body. This part is known as the antrum. And this is the pylorus of the stomach. So again, cardia, actually gastroesophageal, sphincter from inside, we put the bra in here, cardia, fundus, body, antrum, and pylorus. This is known as the greater curvature, it's longer. This is the lesser curvature. The stomach is supplied with good blood supply, arteries and veins, and uh, branches of the vagus nerve and other um, nervous um, system, parasympathetic and sympathetic. The stomach ends here by joining the duodenum. This is the duodenum, it's a C shape, and this is the first part or the beginning of the small intestine. I'm gonna turn it around so you have a good picture of the whole stomach shape. This is from behind. Behind the stomach, we're gonna find the pancreas. The pancreas has a relationship with the stomach and with the um, duodenum as well. If you look at it here, the C-shaped part of the duodenum, that's where you find the head of the pancreas. This is a pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas. Body and a tail of the pancreas. I'm gonna open the stomach and show you the interior anatomy of the stomach. Taking a look at the interior part of the stomach, if 
you see this surface is thrown into folds. This is known as the roge, and it's leathered and lined up with a tight mucus membrane. This membrane helps to protect the stomach from its own secretions, mainly the hydrochloric acid. We know sometimes people get an ulcer, either gastric ulcer or duodenal ulcer, and this is just simply due to erosion or a slit or an opening or disruption of the mucous membrane and the lining of the um, inner stomach wall. Taking a look at this side here, this is the beginning of the, uh, the beginning of the stomach and the end of the esophagus. This area is known as the gastroesophageal sphincter. It's a sphincter or a little valve. If you see the layer, the muscle layer is kind of doubled here or strengthened or thickened. This is supposed to prevent food from splashing or um, going back to the esophagus. In some cases, a disease known as GERD or gastroesophageal reflex disease. This sphincter is incompetent or relaxed and that causes a splashing on regurgitation of gastric content back to the esophagus, which causes severe heartburn and indigestion or acidity. Um, also, looking at this side here, take a look at the um, this sphincter. This is the duodenal sphincter. And here, you find the pylorus. This is called the pyloric sphincter. Pyloric sphincter controls passages of food from the stomach to the duodenum. The stomach can hold up to four liters that much. So when digestion this um, leaves the stomach in about two hours, stomach emptying is about two hours where food empty and goes from the stomach to the duodenum. Sometimes this is delayed in a condition known as gastro or gastric paresis and this is when food emptying is not that fast from the stomach food leaves the stomach and goes to the to widen them turn it back again here to show you the relationship with the um, pancreas and the um, spleen thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time in one of our anatomy sessions